Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Packers and the 49ers, and it's all up next. From the host of Super Bowl 50 back in February of 2016, there's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And we are underway from Santa Clara. This taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. And that'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Here's Purdy. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work. Aaron Rodgers leading them. What a career it's been. Came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Captain 
No score after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Now Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To back good plays have them on the move on first down into the red zone it's Rodgers to the end zone but it's incomplete oh they were so close that close to the first points of the game just need to hang on just a second longer but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Rodgers. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. I think he had to throw that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt, and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with 40 seconds to go, that's, you think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. On first down, Purdy. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A final shot before break. Purdy to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Packers in that first half. And they didn't get a whole lot done in the rushing department in those first two quarters. They probably feel pretty lucky to be tied here at halftime. Meanwhile, for the Niners, here's a look at their numbers throwing the football in what was a very even first half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. six and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line the Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive it's 
Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On the delay, Jones. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Back to throw, Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. To throw is Rodgers. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And this is going to be caught. He got it. It's a touchdown. And forget overtime. Barring a miracle, they're going to win this thing in regulation. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So the drive there took six plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Yeah, we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. So 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Purdy. This to possibly force OT. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. No, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward.